it, it requires him to like set up and let you run into things. Trying to box with him gets your projectiles ran through with forward air. The other thing about this is that Mr. E is one of the best ledge trappers in the world. Uh, don't at me. Sure, at me. I don't, don't at me. <laughs> yeah. um, but he's one of the best ledge trappers in the world. And, you know, Villager is a kind of character that in, in an effort to gain space will often be putting himself in the corner, possibly off the stage. And I actually think the only player I've seen that isn't a problem for is Numbers versus E, and that's why Numbers does so well against E. And I don't think Pokalem quite has that same degree of being sneaky and able to turn the ledge no. to his advantage. He's willing to go to the ledge, but not necessarily it's a place where he can actually get things started from. Look at the, all this corner pressure. Yeah, see, see my, my thing here is I, I just want Pokalem to make more space. I don't want him to try to like set up in E's face like... Oh, that was yeah, so good! That was really good. I've actually, never seen him do that. that I actually was so didn't nice. think it was going to hit the right timing because the balloon actually extended the, the uh, hitbox, so it made it slower. I mean, it seemed like... I, I think he only hit one of the balloons, though. He's fine, though. Yeah. He's villager. <laughs> Some would say he went cross town. Hey. hey. <laughs> oh. oh. That was like the, you know, like the tech uh, buffer option up B. I mean, I can understand why. I'm actually I'm wondering why. I guess if he missed the tech, he wanted to make sure that yeah, he up B yeah, immediately. Yeah, if he missed the tech, he up B immediately to yeah. snap. Because he wasn't like high enough percentage where the up B wouldn't connect. Uh, this is kind of getting ran away with. I and he waits out the spot dodge. Like, <laughs> this is the sort of thing where, yeah, Mystery is looking absolutely brilliant right now. Uh, as I say that, well, I Yeah, no, he, he, tried, he tried to catch him, like, dropping shield. He tried to catch him out of an option. He, like, waited the timing that he thought he was going to swing in and swung with uh, a Dolphin Slash. But it's like, nonetheless, that's the sort of option you throw out when you're not respecting your opponent. Because it's like, what is the risk reward? The reward is you get the stock, sure, but he's only at 150. The the risk is that he has so much lag, he couldn't. No, that's why he died for it. He, he is still looking pretty good right now, you know, up by almost a clean stock. I think, he, yeah, now lapped now. in percent. But nonetheless, like, Pokalam has ways of taking stocks very early. He could feasibly make this comeback happen, but only if Mr. E basically ends up giving him those sort of risk rewards that can allow for him to make that comeback. But, but this is what I'm saying. Like, you, you see how he's kind of, like, stuck between every time I do an option, I'm getting approached with forward air. And the question is, how can he make it so that he's still allowed to layer and do more than one or two options before he has to, like, get an aerial walk through him? Oh man, they're gonna take it. Yeah, that was just that was just solid all around. There's not very like many mistakes other than I mean uh, mistakes is like a weird weird word to put it, but like the dolphin slash obviously got punished. He didn't need to do that, but who cares? He had the stock lead. He wanted to just you know make yeah. him aware that this is something I'm willing to do. That's true, and it's also the sort of thing where like if you don't respect your opponent and still win, then I say you were giving them just the right amount of respect. Yeah. Oh, oh! I think he switches because is it is that a Steve switch? Is that is that what that is? He plays Smash on. I wonder if his controls Steve? are wrong or if he plays Smash Stick on Village and Tilt Stick on Steve. That would make sense considering the fact that Steve's tilts are really good. Villager Smash yeah, attacks yeah, are yeah, really yeah. good. So that, yeah, yeah, that's what he does. He plays plays Tilt Stick on on Steve and uh, Smash Stick on Villager. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so now we are getting into this character matchup, which is definitely different. I wonder how much experience Mr. E has <laughs> in the... Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, he came out the gate swinging. He was like... I mean, that's a, that's a Steve combo. Okay, but this is a similar situation to what the Villager was struggling with. How do you actually get off the ledge against Mr. E? How do you uh, manage to escape the corner? Because all of this damage was from that one interaction that put him there. Oh, he almost died. That air dodge read almost sealing the deal, and the higher blast on on Town and City is kind of helping at Pokolam, but... I mean, how much is helping? He's still at 141, trapped at the ledge. Mr. E looking for that final blow. Ooh! Drift to the ledge. 
Not oh. only that. Uh, that was a little, Damn a little, a little sus, but. But not only that, he hasn't had any time to mine. Oh. <laughs> that was some interesting stuff. He took so much. He almost died. I don't even know what percent he was at. He almost <laughs> died, dude. That's some cool mix is the, the, the block to standing down air. Yeah, but the, so the thing is that he's kind of, he doesn't even have diamonds or anything. He has had barely had any time to actually mine. Can't so mine if he can't get up ledge. Up smash going to take it. Yo, no, that, that was good on him. He timed like he trying to catch him out and just he anti-aired the forwarder with, with up smash. Yeah, I think he actually just got gold in time to actually craft the weapon before uh, he came back. And one thing about gold weapons is that they might not be as strong as, say, the diamond, but I believe their frame data is actually faster, meaning that combos can, uh, especially at these lower percents, be even more brutal. I wonder how intentional that is, but that's interesting, too, to have, like, the, the block, like, one space in from the ledge. It makes Dolphin <gasps> Slash not able to poke you, so he gets to stand at ledge where he wants to stand for the edge guard without fear of Dolphin Slash hitting him. Kind of struggling right now. Uh, to end the stock, I was about to say, but a little forward air, actually. All right, here we go. Diamond on deck. Let's see if he can bridge the gap. I like this. I uh, never mind. I don't like this. <laughs> but I was gonna say I like the idea of like putting up these uh these blocks in inconvenient spots so that he can continue to mine, so that he can get those resources that he needs. Oof. That's an interesting mix too. He'd been sending the cart by itself under the block. Oh. I didn't know what that interaction was gonna be. <laughs> Haven't seen enough Steve to know what the interaction. <laughs> <laughs> so every time I'm just like, oh, what's gonna happen? He hit the TNT. Does he die for that? Like, what? What's the? <laughs> He's like, okay. He craps the time and the weapon, looking for a kill on E right now. I definitely think that's the right call. I mean, look how far that one move sent him. <gasps> What was that DI? Okay, and that forward throw is gonna yep. take it. I I feel like that was also bad DI. I don't think he would have lived, but I still feel like that was bad DI. Alright, sometimes when people know they're gonna die to something, they don't bother DIing it. Yeah, uh, well, that is true. Sometimes it's like I need to make sure that I those frames uh, matter in terms of time out, so. Yeah, Dolphin Slash a really convenient uh, answer to I'm not getting caught in these strings. Yeah. That's going to be yep. E taking the set 2-0. I do think the Steve pick was the right call, but Mr. E just still did yeah. his thing and managed